What's up YouTube? This is TCA Gaming. We're going to open up two sets of three packs today. Uh, first, we're going to open up three Team Rocket first edition, hopefully unweighed packs from Adam. And uh, he, I think he got these off eBay and he sent them to me to open. And then we have Jack, who bought three Gem Heroes packs before, he didn't get any hollows, and he bought three more unweighed first edition Gem Hero booster packs. So hopefully he'll have better luck in this one. We'll open up his packs second. And then uh, for those of you who are wondering, the Neo Genesis packs, probably by the time this video shows, these are sold out. I think there's three packs left. I've only got like three Team Rocket and then maybe four Gym Heroes. But there are other boxes that I'm opening up because you guys have been requesting it. I think Base Set 2, Gym Challenge, and a few others are um, booster boxes that are available in the unweighed uh, category for my sales and also do have EX Deoxys which is kind of fun because I've opened up a few packs and they've all been legit so far did pull a Deoxys EX myself on Instagram that I sold a few out there I was told that the guy um, I posted I shared a video where he had bought six Neo Genesis first edition on Wade packs and he pulled zero hollows six packs that's pretty bad but he ended up buying two more base set he bought two base set heavy and I can't remember how many Neo Genesis Sunway. Maybe it was three or four. But he said that he pulled the Lugia and he also got a Charizard. So I'm gonna, hopefully I have that video uh, shared in my community by the time this video airs. If not, I hope he does post a video because I think that would make a really epic video. I know he said he did record it, so that's going to be pretty cool. So without further ado, we'll get started with these packs for uh, Adam. Kind of looks a little... Well, they, I think they all have it. I think, I, I think the packs out here have the same thing. Yeah, you can kind of see where it's darker right there. That's just where it double seals over, I think, from that. So we're going to snip the top. See how these packs look. I think you did say you got these off of eBay. One, two, three, four. Should be, I think it's this fourth card back. Yeah, these are for Adam. Adam, if you're watching this video early and you want to give a little comment down in the description below for anyone else while you're watching this unlisted video that would be helpful for any of those who are out there thinking that I'm making these people up for these videos we have Diglett, Full Heal Energy, Porygon, and Dark War Turtle which if I was I would be going out of business pretty quickly because I can't just open everything I need to sell the stuff so card number one we have ooh it's a good rare we have Dark Blastoise 20 out of 82 in the back side, it's one of those rares that's good enough to where you probably want to grade it. There's a few white dots right there, probably a good solid nine. All right, Adam, pack number two, we have the Gyarados artwork. Let's snip that right across the top. Adam is also, from what he tells me, going to be sending a full box's worth of fossil first edition heavy packs. I think he got a first edition fossil box off of Z and G. He's going to weigh it out and he's going to send you the heavy packs to open up on camera. Got Dark Radicate, Diglett, we have Zutini, Drowsy, a Falling Booster Pack, we have Goop Gas Attack, Zubat, Ekans, Magikarp, Dark Rapidash, and then we have Challenge. So for rare number two, we have uh, Dark Golbat. So again, no hollow on that one. He's kind of like, he's like in a cave. Backside looks pretty good. Well, same kind of issue there. Little white dots in two spots. But not too bad. I mean, I, I personally wouldn't grade this card unless I was going for the set. In which I, I do collect every card from Wizards of the Coast and PSA 10. I probably don't have a Dark Golbat, but... I usually just kind of wait for that thing to come around because you can find non hollows like that for $20 or so in auction when they come through because people do grade them. And $20 would be more than you'd pay if you just bought this card in mint condition. But if you get a nine or something, you can look out of that money. All right, pack number three, last pack for Adam. We have one, two, three, four cards. I'm going to sleeve it up. And we're going to check that here in a minute. All right. Now remember, we could still possibly get a Dark Dragonite error out of one of these packs. I don't think it's been confirmed, uh, whether it's from a long pad or pack or a booster box pack. 
as far as I know, that has not been posted anywhere on YouTube yet. Evie Grimer, which many of you know that this artwork is altered on the Japanese side. This Grimer was banned because if you look at his eyes, he's looking kind of straight out this way, but on the Japanese artwork, he's actually looking up. And then if you notice right here, there's like a girl with a skirt. So, I mean, he's like, look, it looks like Grimer's getting a free peek show from this girl up her skirt. So, they banned the artwork and then they changed it. That's all they really changed from what I can remember on the English side. And we have Abra, Dark Primate, Dark Vaporeon, and Dark Machoke. Alright, so for the last and final rare for Adam, we have Dark Duck Trio. So, no hollows on this one. Did pull three decent rares. Got a really good one with the Blastoise. I think the condition of them is overall okay. You know, I don't think they're gem mints, but I do think they are in nice minty condition. Alright, so we'll leave those sitting in the background. Hopefully, we're going to have better luck with Jack because he's already bought three first edition Gym Hero booster packs from me. And uh, they were all three, of course, unweighed because all three of them had none or they were just rares. So let's hope that he can pull a hollow in at least one of these packs. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four. I think it's five on this one. If I remember correctly, those rares that he had were a little bit lighter. This one did not look light. I hope I'm not speaking too early because that would be just kind of a, a bummer. I, I'm saying I think it's a hollow and then it just turns out to be a rare. So we're going to start off with a Grass Energy. We have Energy Flow, Sabrina's Abra, Misty's Goldeen, Blaine's Charmander, Erica's Bellsprout, Surge's Rattata, Erica's Oddish, Brock's Lickitung, Blaine's Last Resort. And then for the rare, we have, ooh, it is a holler. Oh, buddy, it's a Brock. So for those of you who know, Brock is pretty tough to grade. See a little print line right there. It's like a little, it's actually really small, but there's kind of looks like there's two of them. And man, other than that, it's be a really nice card on the front side. Let's check out the back side. This Edges look nice. Maybe some really light whitening, but not enough that I would think PSA would count off for. Maybe that. That again, that's really small. That one's a little bit bigger. I'd say this is a solid nine. You know, really off chance at the ten. Just I mean, there's just so many little. Th I mean, there's like three really small things, but nothing super noticeable. And it's on the right side, so in my opinion, it has a higher chance of getting that PSA ten because more people are right-handed and so if it ends up in the hands of a right-handed person he's going to be shining it kind of like that instead of like this and I think when you're shining in the light on this side you're going to see it a little bit stronger on the left side if there's going to be a scratch or something but that's a really good pull so he got a Mahalo, got a Brock and which is a pretty tough it's low pop especially I think the Unlimited there's like one <laughs> or maybe I'm thinking another card but it's really low pop I don't think many have been graded it's not something that uh, has been tested like you know the Typhlosion where you know for a fact it's something super hard to grade but it could be I mean you, you don't really know when there's only been a few cards that have been graded alright we'll put that energy up front so we'll start off with a fire energy maybe that's Maybe that's uh, telling us something about this pack. It'd be super cool if we pulled something miscut or a square cut card or I don't know, something weird like that. Look at that. Got a little ink issue going on at the top on that edge. Computer City Gym, Vermilion City Gym. So we got three trainers as the uncommons. And then for the rare, we have man, these cards are just wanting to fall. Stay up there. We have oh man, I didn't reveal it. Missy's Poly Wrath, which that's a pretty good rare. I think that one. Uh, I can't remember if the non hollow Sabrina Gengar is in the Gym Hero set or not. A little off center on the back side. Got a few white dots down there. I think the Brock is in better condition than the Missy's Poly Wrath, but of course, non hollows always grade a little bit easier. But overall, that's a pretty good pull. So, Jack, you have one more pack. This one is Erica, or has Erica on the front. Let's see what we can pull.
One, two, three, four, five. Set the rare off the background. Put the energy up front. And now let's look at this pack. So we have, we'll start off with Psychic Energy with the Sabrina's Drowsy. Got Blaine's Growlithe, Narrow Gem, Misty's Horsey, Brock Sandshrew. Got Execute, bunch of eggs, Lieutenant Surge, Surge's Treaty, Gloom. And then we have that Missy's Tentacle, which has a really cool artwork. Some giant tentacle. It's definitely not 2 feet 11 inches in length, otherwise that's a really really small Misty. It's like a Misty doll almost. I'd say the tentacle weighs more than 100 pounds. And for the rare we have Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. That's a really good rare. Back in the day this this one I think Erica's Victory Bell used to be the, the main chase cards. I think people ran this one in a deck and they did run the Erica's Victory Bell in a deck too. So you did get the Hollow Brock and I hope you can get a PSA 10 on that. That would uh, shoot the value on that one way up there. And then you got two decent rares. So you got the Misty's Polyrath and Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. And uh, we won't forget about Adam who uh, supplied the three Team Rocket first edition packs got three rares, but did get the Dark Blastoise. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and then check out the next video coming out 12 o'clock tomorrow.